Hello, I'm Will. And what I do is I talk a lot around workplace violence. And what I also try to encourage organisations to do is promote ways of how to reduce risks within that organisation, whether staff are alone working or they're dealing with difficult individuals, doesn't matter what that is. How do they, shall we say, promote their own personal safety? Now, I also get a lot of questions. And one of the questions I had recently was all about basically training and specifically around about conflict management training. And what the person said to me was, well, what's the difference between conflict management, conflict resolution, dealing with violence and aggression, and multiple other subjects? And I said, well, it's not only just a subject heading that's important, it's what you're doing in the training session that is important. Like the way I approach, and we approach, I should say, conflict management, is that we look at it on three stages. We say to ourselves, right, okay, then if we achieve each stage, we're going to drastically reduce the risk. So the first stage is basically the primary. And we look at the primary in the context of what can we have in place or what is in place to, shall we say, reduce the risk to the staff, whether they're engaging with the public, engaging with clients, tenants, customers, guests, irrespective. What do we have in place already? Have we got good procedures? Have we got systems in place? Or what do we require? Even down to, do we have CCTV? Then we also look at it from the secondary stage. Now, remember primary, if you remember, Everything in place, prevention is better than the cure. But well, if you get that right, it means it's easy when you go into the secondary. And secondary is all about training in that context of what we put across. So that would be all to do with how we interact with people, how we engage with individuals. How do we, shall we say, ensure that we communicate at the right level? Above all, ensuring our own personal safety. If we have to use, say, plausible reasons to move from the place or we have to inform people where we are, that's all that package. And it's easy to say on, well, video, but when you actually break it down, there is a lot more to it. Now, the last stage we look at, the third stage is tertiary. Fancy word for three. But the third stage is basically all around support. What support mechanisms do we put in place to protect the staff? So if the staff do have an incident, well, what do we do? Have we collated enough evidence, which we should have brought up in, by the way, in the primary and we train in secondary but what do we have in the actual tertiary what support mechanisms EAP employee assistance programs welfare programs all this is bundled together and what we train ourselves when it comes to conflict management if we get the three stages correct with our client well we've just drastically reduced the risk and improved the staff safety and not only that giving them the confidence to carry out their job safely if you want to know any more, please continue to follow our YouTube channel. If you want to know more about incidents that we see and we ask for a comment on, please follow us on LinkedIn. And we're also on Twitter. That usually helps people just hit the link when we release it so they can see a little video. Stay safe, whatever you're doing. And bye for now. Yeah.